Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to see that how we can take a screenshot using Python. So for taking a screenshot in Python, we have to install two libraries first. One is the PyAuto GUI for taking the screenshot and one is the pillow uh, to handle the image, to save the image in different formats, okay? So these are the two commands which you can use to install these two libraries pip install pyauto gui and then pip install pillow so i have already installed all these two uh, libraries so i will not going to install it i'll just directly start with importing my libraries so let's just import it so we'll import pyauto gui and then we are going to import from the pillow we are going to import the image okay now we'll create an object and in that object we are going to take our screenshot now for taking the screenshot uh, there is a method okay that method name is also in screenshot that is present in the biota gui library so we have to directly uh, write the name of our library and then we can apply that method using the dot operator and then that will get stored in our object okay now for saving that screenshot what we can do now we can use a method of the image uh, module that is dot save okay and using a raw string we are going to save our uh, screenshot so i'll save our screenshot with a file name cl coding and the format will be png i'm going to save it in png format and after that what i'll do now i'll open it also so for open also there is a method in the image that is dot open so we will apply that method over here okay and then using the raw string i will open that also now what is the use of the raw string we have seen in previous videos also now i'll explain it one more time that the, for the escape characters suppose if you are writing backslash n inside the raw string so it will take backslash as a character and n also a character and if you write it in a normal string then it will take as a new line so that is the difference of using the raw strings okay so if you have to give the locations of your suppose the locations of your files or the images here so that you can give using this backslashes okay so for that it is used now as we have already uh, okay here we have to apply the image okay because now this file has been saved so when the save function will be executed so file will already get saved so now for opening the image so we have to apply the image here okay so image dot open and let's just do what let's just actually execute our cell okay so now you can see that how we have taken the screenshot so i hope you like this video that how we took the screenshot so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next video